you had a word from the Lord to get the church ready. Um, is is this a time for people to be shaken by this? Is this like a prophetic? Is this like the prophet standing up at the gate sounding the alarm? Is it that serious? Are we? I mean, are or is it just going to be like, well, you know, chat GPT, people who use it can write articles and things like that. How how serious really is it? Because uh, there's a lot of talk. And then there's some people saying there's it's got it's going to be an AI super God, you know, so where's the truth, you know, between all this? Well, look, from a practical thing, Goldman Sachs predicts 300 million jobs being replaced by AI. So from a practical standpoint, if churches do not get on the ball with training their people with AI, that's a wild number. Their tithes and offerings are going to drop dramatically if people are unemployed, maybe 30, 40% in the next few years. A lot of jobs are being replaced, even as we speak. Amazon is laying off 10,000 people. Meta World yeah. is laying off thousands of uh, all of them, they're all laying people off now. Can you imagine three years when AI is right. even more developed? Uh, people who program computers getting laid off. AI is a better right. coder than, than the coders we have today. Graphic artists, they, AI could generate graphic art better than a human right now. Mm -hmm. in, in 30 seconds, it could come out with a graphic design that it would take somebody hours to pull off. So. If, what we do is we help churches create incubators so that those who have business can transition to AI generated business. Those who want to know about AI could learn about it. And we could also encourage young people to become the gatekeepers in AI so that we can use AI for good. I'm excited about AI. I know a lot of pastors who say, oh, this is the Antichrist, this and that. Well, right. if the church sits on its butt and doesn't do anything, then an Antichrist can utilize it for evil. But if we get ahead of the curve, because we're connected to the mastermind in the universe, come the on, Logos, Jesus, we could transform the world. Can you imagine the Bible translated in every language, preaching the gospel in every language? to every tribe, kindred, tongue, like and that. nation. Yeah. Uh, having the greatest movies that the world's ever oh. seen because Hollywood is, is, is limited now. Can you imagine what we could do with AI? So I, you know, when someone has an apostolic proclivity, they look at every challenge as an opportunity. I look at this with excitement. I can't, hey, bring it on. Bring as much technology as you want. Of course- right. There are dangers. And if we're not the leading ethicists in the world, they're going to want to do some crazy things related to human enhancement. Some of it's good, some of it's evil. Uh, people will be able to replace disabled limbs or having no limbs with AI generated limbs. Mm. Um, and uh, we'll give them as much or more physical capacity than when they had a natural limb. Eyesight can be restored, hearing can be restored. Where it gets dangerous would be when we, uh, if they ever do something stupid like trying to put a human brain in an animal or uh, a man's brain in a woman's body, those are the kind of things that we, as the top AI leaders and ethicists, should say stop, no more. So we have to get people involved in AI in these major companies like XAI from Elon Musk. Uh, and then you have OpenAI. I think that's Larry Page. And you have Microsoft doing AI. So we have to get Christians in the top levels of AI to stop the craziness. Otherwise, there will be some really bad scenarios coming up within a decade or less.